Hello, I'm Timothy Jordan for The Developer Show. This is your weekly update on the coolest developer news from Google. You can now write cloud functions triggers that receive test results from Firebase Test Lab. This makes it much easier to know immediately when a test finishes and get a summary of its results. Example code and links to the docs are on the post. The Flutter team recently opened an early adopter program for companies, design agencies, and startups who are ready to build on Flutter for the web. There are a limited number of slots available by application. Click through to the post for details on how to apply. We've added some new autocomplete features to the Google Maps platform to help your users select the place they're looking for more easily and make faster decisions. Updates include additional place types, more customization control, and straight line distance. More info, including screenshots, are on the post. Spinnaker, developed jointly by Google and Netflix, is an open source multi-cloud continuous delivery platform. We're excited to introduce the Spinnaker for Google Cloud Platform solution, which, let, which lets you install Spinnaker in Google Cloud Platform with a couple of clicks to start creating pipelines for continuous delivery. Chrome 77 is now available in the dev channel, and there are a bunch of dev tools updates, including OS theme syncing, prefetch cache in the network panel, notifications and push messages in the application panel, and more. For all the details, including screenshots and links, head on over to the post. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share. I'm Timothy Jordan for The Developer Show. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next week. You know what these sounds sound like up in the crawl space? It's like uh, when you're on the alien's ship and elsewhere there's stuff happening and you don't know what it is. Oh my God. See? <laughs> <laughs>